all done, guys. I already look snatched. <laughs> welcome back to my channel I am so nervous for this video um, if you guys already saw my previous video I talked about me getting another procedure done um, I talked about what I'm getting done and oh uh, my leg is literally like non-stop shaking right now <laughs> I have so much anxiety like I've been fine the last couple days like telling myself like you're getting surgery you're getting surgery you're getting surgery it's whatever but now that it's right now and i'm about to get surgery in like a few hours i am like fucking shaking i am so nervous i want to like throw up i want to poop i want to do everything my anxiety is like like through the roof even though i know this procedure my doctor said i mean it's not that it's simple but it's not as crazy as like my bbl you know my fucking bbl was something else yeah the bbl was a lot more painful more recovery time it took longer uh, my doctor said that this procedure should only take about an hour and a half which is like really fast but <laughs> i'm so really like anxious it's just like the whole fact of like going these like that's the part that gives me the most anxiety <laughs> Yeah, so I'm super anxious. Um, if you guys are new to my channel or you didn't see my previous video, I'm basically getting my cheeks done. I already got my bottom cheeks, so now I'm gonna get these cheeks done. Um, so I have this really, like really big insecurity with my face. I talked about it in my previous video where like I gained uh, weight on my face because of medication that I was put on a few years back when I was sick. And my face kind of like inflated really big. I'm gonna put a picture right here because I finally found a picture. I had deleted all my pictures, but Jesse found one in um, his old SD card. Um, I got better, I got off the medicine, the swelling went down, but then I got pregnant and then my cheeks kind of grew again. And then after that, they just like never went back to how they were. So I don't know if you can tell right now. I don't know. Okay, maybe. Okay, this is a better angle But like this cheek is way bigger than this cheek from right here I'm talking about this area right here like this cheek is so much bigger and like when I smile Like you see all this right here. This is what I hate this all of this right here Like I'm so insecure about it. That's why I don't smile in my pictures like look and like all of this just looks so like chunky and like I don't like it. My face did not look like this before so it really frustrates me. He's doing two different procedures. Um, he's gonna do the buckle fat so we're getting rid of like the little fatness right here. It's just gonna kind of like contour my face a little bit. Um, and then he's gonna do lipo on my jaw. It's like a combination of lipo and something that he called skin tightening um, Which is basically gonna just take out whatever little fat that I have there And then it's just gonna basically pull the skin to like the jaw so my cheeks don't dangle Like that anymore and like I don't even have my you can't even see my jaw Like I should be like, you know, but I'm not like you can't even see it. Um, yeah, but we are gonna head over to the surgery center right now <laughs> And like I did for my BBL, I'm going to vlog the entire experience, the recovery and everything because I know you guys really, really like that. Um, and then maybe you can see how it went for me and then maybe, I don't know if that's something that you guys have ever wanted to get done, but oh, that's that. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned this, but Louis also got his BBL today. So we got the surgery the same day. So he's probably about to get out soon. Um, and then I'm next. We're getting it done. Our procedures the same day, different procedures the same day. Um, and you're gonna, I'm gonna film that too. Like, that's gonna be so funny seeing me and Louis all look, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm excited and just keep on watching if you wanna see this crazy adventure. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Wish me luck. Like, oh! Oh, okay. I am fucking like shaking right now. I'm nervous, but we just got a call from the doctor. Um, my appointment was at 12, but they just called me and they said that they're done with Louie. They finished quickly with Louie. Um, so they're like, okay, hurry up. You're next. And I was like, what? So I'm going like 30 minutes earlier than I thought, but I'm ready. Like, I just want to get it over with. Like, the next clip is probably going to be me like, oh my God, I just got down with surgery type of thing. Yeah, but we're on the way. Oh my god. Yeah, mom, you'll be alright. 
<laughs> I know I'm gonna be alright. It's just the anxiety, you know? It's yeah. just like literally the anxiety. Going like going to the place. I feel like once I'm there and once like I'm about to go into the surgery, I'll be like because that's what happened for my BBL. I was panicking beforehand, but literally as soon as like it was about to happen, I was like, okay, like yeah. Like there's nothing I can do, I'm already on the table, like give me a BBL. Um, so that's what's gonna happen right now, but <laughs> we're gonna Hi. 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 We just took out, or we're just taking out the buckle fat pad right now, and if you can see right here, we got out a pretty decent portion of it. The key is not to take out too much because you don't want their face to look too slim or skinny, but you want to have a nice little curve. So we're about to take it out right now. So taking out the buckle fat on the other side, you can tell you can't take out too much because otherwise it would make the face look a little weird, but just the right amount is what she needs. Here's the buckle fat, left side, right side. So that should make a nice difference. Finishing up the face tight, did both sides. All this lube here prevents any sort of burn happening. All right, so after the face tight, we're doing the liposuction to help kind of snatch the jawline and define it a lot better. So just taking out a little bit of fat. This looks like so it. funny. <laughs> Thank you. I'm all done, guys. I already look snatched. Nice. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Don't laugh. Yeah, let me hold her in. I saw your brother and I see you. Hi. <coughs> Daddy, you need help. Be careful with your <laughs> it's hard not to laugh when I saw you. I know. Are you on drugs? That's in drugs. It's you, wearing off. You cold? <clears throat> I just woke up from like the fattest nap ever. They gave me really good pain pills. So I slept really good and I currently have like no pain like it probably feels like a one and it's only because i'm talking it like literally doesn't hurt which i'm glad because i wanted to go shopping tomorrow um my mom is at my brother's house um and bbl number two over there is all freaking in pain so i'm gonna go see him and then my mom made some chopa and i'm really hungry so we're gonna go eat some of my mom chopa because i can't eat anything else besides chopa but let's go. Mamo, are you going to take care of me? Mamo, the Luis is in the house. Yeah, let's go to Tia Luis's house. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Where's your baby Yoda? Um, my baby Yoda is in in our. Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! So we're at Luis's house. I just finished eating some sopita. My mom made me. Uh, the pain is slowly starting to kick in. And then, ew, look at my hair. Um, but let me show you who we also have recovering. Look at that big ass lump on the back. He finally has an ass. You know? 
Oh, oh, you thought that was his ass? No, it's a pillow. Oh, I want to take this off. Should I take it off? No. Me lo quito? A ver, I'm going to take it off because I'm going to fix it. Me lo voy a arreglar. I'm going to take it off. I need to fish it. I need to fish it. Travis is so concerned. Don't take it off. Estoy bien, mi amor. No, mami. No, mamá. All right, this should not be like this. Eat a mosquito. Mami, mira el ¿Por qué me lo pusieron así bien cuachas? No saben. Ah. Necesito sustento. ¿Mande? Wow, ya se te cayó eso muy fuerte. No, a ver cómo se me ve o se me ven igual a los cachetes. Ay, es que ahorita no se nota mucho. ¡Uh, que da igual! Ay, mira cómo estoy moreteada, mami. Ay, ya no me sé. Ay, ya no me sé. Ay, ya no me sé. Así que no sé. Oh my god, that looks so gross. This was the really big cheek, you guys. So that's why I think it's the most bruised. Uh, isn't this one first? No. This one's first. Who said? Uh, this one was on and that one was on top of this one. Okay. So you put it like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> This one, this, that gauze was on your ear. Oh, it's only for the bleeding. I'm not bleeding anymore. Okay, but that is it. I will keep keeping you guys updated. I look scary. I'm on drugs. I'm really groggy, but I'm here for my checkup. We're gonna make sure everything's good. And Jesse's gonna film. And I look mad because I'm really sleepy right now. It's the uh, ooh. Uh -huh. Just wait till this mask comes off. New me. It's gonna be a new me. I don't care. New me. Coming in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. Do I have this tight enough? I don't even know if it's tight enough or should it be more tight? It's tight as you can make it without making it hurt. Oh, okay. It's pretty snug. Okay. How's your brother doing? He's like, nothing happened. <laughs> I hate him. He's just like, nothing happened. He's walking around. Good pain tolerance. Yeah, he's doing so good. Oh, looking good. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> Is it still swollen? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be swollen for a while. Uh, so that shrink wrapping effect on your jawline takes a good three months or more for it to actually occur. Okay. But, uh, open your mouth. It's a bit painful on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel the stitches in there? Uh-huh. Feel the dog. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, I'm not going to Okay, good. Oh. That was scary. I noticed, I actually noticed the difference already. Even though Do it's you? Long. Yeah. I haven't really been looking, but... Yeah. It's good. Yay. I'm already surprised, actually. Already it looks different. Uh, so it's only gonna look better over time. I'm excited. Hey guys, this is a little update moment. I got surgery on Wednesday and today's Friday. Tell me why I feel like shit. Like I feel like the first day I felt so good. And then yesterday was alright, but today I just feel like shit. Like I'm just so tired. And like I feel like my cheeks have been getting more and more swollen instead of getting better, but I'm assuming that's normal. I already want to go see my doctor and he said that everything's looking good and everything. Oh, I'm just so tired. The painkillers make me so sleepy and like so lightheaded, but oh, I'm trying to do like an everyday little moment so that you guys can slowly start to see the swelling go down. Here, I'll take off my thing, but... I think it's still really swollen. Oh. Ew, yeah, I'm still so swollen. Oh my god. Like, it's already like definitely thinner right here from the vocal fat they took out. I can't even talk right, but like all of this is swollen from the inside. Like honestly, the lipo and the chin the skin tightening and all that, it didn't hurt. I mean, it hurts, it's a little sore. But the buckle fat is what 
It hurts. Like my cheeks hurt. They're super sensitive and like that's why I can't eat and like it hurts all right here. Yeah, that's what hurts. It's not even the lipo. The lipo's like alright. But it's my cheeks. I look worse. I better look better afterwards. Like this whole part of my face for whatever reason looks all like chunky. Um but we were supposed to stay here one more day but i think we're just annoyed and i just want to go home so we started packing right now um travis is with my mom at louis house and i think we're gonna head out because i'm over it i'm so over it i hope i feel better soon <laughs> all right so we're finally leaving we're at louis house because my mom gave me candito pollo one more time Bitch, I swear every time I get the camera on my face, I look fatter. But I just wanted to say bye to Louis and Fern. Bye. Ew, me. Coming to the surgery house. You're welcome. A ver, vamos a ver one more time. Como quedaron las nachitas, a ver? It looks the same. Flat. No. Fern, I, Fern. Fern, give him a good one before I go. Mama. I'm just kidding. Daz. Hey, guys. I'm still in my bandage. And today we are going to decorate our Christmas tree, but that is a separate vlog. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to keep you updated that I still look like a potato. Um, it is Sunday. I got surgery on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's like five days. Five days post-op and I'll still be looking like a potato. Um, and I went out for my first time today. That was fun. Okay, bye. Hey guys, okay, so this is week two. I am two weeks post off, um, and I actually got ready because I feel like you can already see the results. I took off my faja today for a good while and I did my makeup, and I just basically wanna show you guys the results so far. Oh, I'm excited to show you guys. So I'm not swollen anymore. Well, I mean, I probably am, honestly. But, oh, this makes me so happy. I don't know if you guys can already tell. I already see my face so thin, like really thin, especially right here compared to how I had it. So being on camera and just like seeing the results is fucking crazy to me. And what's even, oh my God, like you can literally see the little, like, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just so excited. I haven't done my makeup since before surgery. So when I was doing my makeup, I was just like staring at my face and I was like, oh my God, like you can actually see the difference. Um, And it's only week two. So, okay, let's put the hair back so I can show you guys. So the buccal fat, buccal fat, I don't know how you say it, but that part is like, the fat that is like hidden right here um and it's what was giving me like those really big chip chick chipmunk cheeks oh my god so now when i smile there's like these little things right here and it's not all big how it used to be um i'm still a little swollen i can tell i'm a little swollen from right here um and then also we did do lipo all down here and like it is crazy to me how you can literally see my jawline. You guys probably wouldn't notice all this stuff if I didn't point it out. But before, like, even going like this, you can still see my jawline. Before, if I would go like this, like, oh, bitch, I had no jawline. So it's crazy to me how much of a difference there already is. The only thing that I still see is, like, my cheeks kind of still droop down. I still want them to pick up a little bit. Um, This one more than this one still because this was originally my biggest cheek. Dr. Chaudhry did tell me that the skin tightening procedure that we did um, takes like three months, three to six months to actually even see the results, um, which is typical because for my BBL, it took me like three and a half months to start seeing like results and for my butt to actually start like getting nicely shaped. Um, so I already knew that was gonna happen, but so far for it only being two weeks, I am so happy with the results like mm, the fact that my face is just thinner and i can smile without feeling like like my cheeks are all fat is what's making me super excited look at it you can literally just like it is so cute and i know i'm still swollen like when i smile i feel swelling right here still um 
but that's okay because it's gonna go down we made it this far to the video this is the part where i'm gonna talk to you about like all the information like where i went where i got it done um the price and all of that because that always gets asked and i'm very open about everything um so first of all I've already mentioned him, but my surgeon was Dr. Chaudhry. This is his at right here, his Instagram. So Dr. Chaudhry is the one that did all the procedures. It was two procedures. It was the buckle fat removal and then lipo with skin tightening for the bottom of my cheeks and my chin. Um, and he is also the doctor who did my BBL and who did my brother's BBL. Um, so I love Dr. Chaudhry from the moment he did my BBL. I love his work. And if in the future I'm gonna get more work done, he's gonna be the doctor that I go to because he's really good at listening to my needs and what I want. He literally gave me exactly what I wanted and he gave me the perfect body. Um, and he did the same thing to my face because I came to him and I told him like, look, this is what's keeping me super insecure. Like I hate my cheeks, I hate, I hate my jawline, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, okay, let's do this procedure, this and this and this. So he just, off the bat knew exactly what I wanted and he gave me that. So I really, really appreciate that in doctors when they don't just care about money, but they really care about what you want and like want to give you the best result possible. And he was very realistic as well. Um, I remember with my BBL, he literally told me like, you're not going to get a big ol' ass. You're not going to get a Kim K butt because you don't have enough fat, but I am going to give you like a nice little but with nice uh, shape in your body and like that's literally what he gave me so i really really appreciate him being super super real with me so if you guys want a consultation or you want to message dr chaudry um definitely message him on his instagram send him a dm tell him i sent you so his office is located in beverly hills i'm gonna leave his address down below for like any other information just in case you missed it um but yeah super big shout out to dr chaudry for being such a good surgeon and then price, uh, same thing with my BBL. Everything honestly varies. I can't give you an exact price because it, it literally depends on everyone. Everyone's bodies is different. So best thing to do is message Dr. Chaudhry for a consultation. Um, and then I'm sure his assistant or himself will go over pricing and all of that. Cause that's like usually what people want to know. But your best bet is to go through him and find out that information that way. Um, just because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. And then you guys come at me and be like, I thought it was going to be this much. It's like, I, I don't know. Um, pain wise. Um, how painful was it from 1 to 10? It was probably like, like a, what, well, well, when I got straight out of surgery, I was in a lot of pain on, in my, my cheeks, my buccal fat, my lipo never hurt, like this never hurt, um, not even the incisions, I got an incision back here, you can still see it a little bit, and then another one right here, so it was two incisions right there, and then I had two cuts on the inside of my cheeks like right here they were like this long maybe uh, but the stitching was like really really small um but the only pain i could feel was my cheeks um and i just felt discomfort because the faja the faja was honestly the most uncomfortable part it still is it was squishing my ears and i had a lot of pain on my ears the first like two days i had a lot of pain in my head because it's just like compressing your head um and a little bit of pain on my cheeks because it was pressing on my cheeks um, but it's because I had two different procedures. But other than that, I was taking pain meds. So the pain was super, super tolerable. Um, the day after surgery, they called me and they asked me what my pain level was. Um, and it was probably the pain meds. But I was like, I'm good. I'm at a one. And the guy was like, your pain is at a one. I was like, dude, yeah, like I'm fine. So the pain is totally manageable. Nothing like a BBL. Let me tell you that. Experience so far has been super good. I'm super excited because I know that it's only gonna keep getting better and better I'm still swollen and I'm probably gonna be swollen for another week So I can't wait to see the end results and again the end results can take up to a year with any uh, cosmetic procedure But I can't wait. I'm so excited and I'm glad that I finally got this done because I've been wanting it done for so freaking long Please feel free to leave any comments down below or just send me a DM personally. I try my best to always answer DMs. Um, so if you literally just want like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, just send me a DM on my Instagram. Here's my Instagram. If you're not following me, go follow me. Um, and I can answer your questions as much as I can. <clears throat> Thank you guys for all the love and support you give me on my surgeries. Everybody is always so nice. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time I upload. Bye. Look, I can smile and not feel all freaking chipmunk.